My name's Grumpy Jesse, and I need a haircut. What do you think? This is Carving Fusion. <sighs> Look, Mom, it's Homer Simpson. Kinda. Hey, buddy, I just got back from driftwood uh, hunting. I didn't take much video down there, um, but I found this piece, so I thought I'd bring it home and try carving it. So once again, I'm going to carve a wood spirit in here, and I'm going to try and see how I can incorporate this part right here into its hair. So this is a challenging piece. I'm going to do your basic wood spirit, so there won't be too much tutorial on that. If you want tutorial for wood spirits, just go into my description. You'll see a step-by-step. -step. Or if anybody wants more tutorials, just let me know in the comments below. Also, what will be in the comments below is the burrs that I used. This is a Cut Salt Extreme Flame Burr, 1 8 shaft in a Dremel. Flex shaft, I'm running a 4300. Go into the description below and you can find the link for Cuts All and use the code CFUSION to save yourself 5%. So yeah, I'm going to carve the um, wood spirit right here. And try and make it incorporate the hair so it comes kind of down like this. But we'll see. Also, I have uh, no clue what kind of wood this is. It's almost pretty punky in the back. See, it kind of looks like foam. That's what the punky is, right? But um, yeah, I'm just going to carve it and see what happens. I know no dogs are pissed on this. This is from a private beach. <laughs> uh. Okay, so I always use the, basically the normal formula to uh, draw my wood spirit on. If this is for the new people to channel this formula here, okay? I'm also thinking about carving out a hole here so it can be a succulent holder, a plant holder, and maybe the plant can grow over top. But it's going to be a wall hanger. So... Everything's going to flow this way, okay? Because I got this room down here to carve, okay? So his beard, his mustache, and everything's going to flow this way. Even try and get some hair in there. So I'm going to start off with my center line, okay, guys? I always place the nose first. That's the biggest thing for me because then it just kind of works out that way. So... Always get these two lengths the same, guys, too. This length and that length and the pitch, too. Because if you don't, when you do your mustache, you're going to have a thicker piece of mustache coming down and then a thinner piece of mustache coming down, okay? And I've been having the problem of making my nose too short lately, so I'm going to make this one a little bit longer. And I'm just going to put straight eyes in here for now, just for a template. And my mustache is going to be flowing down this way. So let's kind of give it up above and flow it down. Okay, around here, flow it around, and this one flowing down too. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to cut into this stuff here. Or maybe not, maybe I'll just kind of bring it down here. And then carve that out. Okay, so our forehead. See here, we don't have to cut any of this face back, maybe cut the nose deeper, but you'll see as I go. This isn't going to be a full tutorial, guys. And there's lots of people that carve wood spirits on YouTube or, like, detailed eyes and stuff like that. So you can see all their stuff if you watch other videos, too. Don't just, you know, I'm still learning just like you guys. Okay, so there's my uh, template, and this hair will come down like this, too. Somehow we'll figure, it out, figure out how to get it in. And his beard will roll down here, too, and his mustache, kind of. So, I don't know. Let's get started here. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, you can see here, I went around and cleaned up. I had this uh, aluminum cutter on, bit on my uh, Ford and flex shaft. This is quarter inch. I just went around and cleaned it up because this is what I had on there for now, right? So I just cleaned up the gray from the wood. But anyways, you can see here, I got some punky wood. I hope it doesn't go too deep or it's gonna really affect the carving. But yeah, so you can see like, that goes pretty deep, look. That's all punky wood in there, guys. That don't try not to carve that wood, guys. It's just uh, you're kind of wasting your time, I think, in my opinion, if you do that. But yeah, I don't know. I'll try and save it, I guess. So carve on, carve on. Okay, so when I kept on carving down here, it just kept on getting rotten and rotten and punky and punky and punky. So I said, screw it. I'm just going to make this half this guy's face uh, kind of like a helmet thing. So I think that uh, rubs out the part where we're going to have hair up here. Because if I take this back down, the forehead back down deep, you're going to find some of that punkiness down here. Because you can see it got in there through that crack. That's where it is all down there. It's still damp in there. I feel it. So I'm just going to kind of leave that the way it is. Maybe clean up in here after with some different burrs. But now I'm going to, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a break. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so at this point right now, I thought about it. I'm just going to take a little break from carving. And I'm going to put the whiskers in for the beard hairs using this uh, aluminum cutter. You can use a steel cutter in the... Uh, and put it, you do it on the angle like this right here. People are texting me when I'm filming. Stop it! Jesus. Um, so yeah, do it on the edge. And you get nice little beard hairs in here. And mustache hairs. my beard hair is cut in okay now what I'm gonna do let me just drop my phone here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this top out see it all in there I'm gonna cut a hole in here and this is gonna be a plant holder thing so what I'm gonna use is my cut saw extreme burr again and I'm gonna with the smaller one I'm gonna go around and cut a line around in here then I'm gonna get my big cut saw this is the exact same extreme flame burr guys these things last forever but don't get this caught on your hand. I had it rip across my finger. I've had it rip across my thumb. You can even see a scar from my knuckle there. I lost some of my tattoo. Yeah, so these things are pretty vicious. Grab the tool good when you're controlling this tool, got this uh, cutting burr, guys, because you don't want it bouncing off. Because they do bounce. Okay, so let's uh, start carving again. Cutting. Dating. Hey guys, just remember when you're doing deep cuts like this and getting in there cutting out holes, you can hit a hard spot, jam up your um, your burr and break your flex shaft. So be real careful. Hey guys, you can see I got the beard hairs trimmed in. It's kind of got like a helmet on, whatever you want to say. It's just why I made the helmet is because I couldn't carve a proper face because it's just too rotten in here. Punky. You guys can see how fluffy it is. That's all rot, okay? But once I set it out, you're not even gonna be able to notice. I got the holes carved in the top and made some deeper holes for the water to sit or maybe whatever. And I got another hole cut in here. This is for succulents. This is a shout out for you, Eddie. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I tried blowing out the holes and a bunch of dust hit me dust hit me in the face. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand the beard here. I'm gonna sand all this with my lucky little sander. You can find out how I make these in the, in the playlists I got. And I'll do the beard hairs with this little uh, flap bristle flap sander thing. Okay, so yeah. At this moment, the Dremel is broken. Fuck. Hey guys, so this Dremel stopped working. It's on my 4300. I'm going to check the brushes and uh, maybe I'll make a video on that. And uh, so I just switched over this. Um, Sanding pad to my right angle bit uh, on my Dremel 4000. Continue! Forward on! You guys, when you're doing surgery on your tools, always make sure they're unplugged, okay? I'm just going to check my brushes quick. I thought it would be good to show you guys how to do it. Some of you don't know. Some of you do, some of you don't. Just you got these little screw things on the side here. Just that's what this screwdriver is for, okay? That you get with your Dremel. Oh, it's man, it's friggin' hot in here. Okay, so be careful because underneath here there's springs. See? Spring. Oh yeah, this sucker. Oh, there's no brushes left at all in here. Yeah, the brushes are going, so hold on. I always have a spare set of brushes, so that's what the brushes look like, okay? Oh, where's my scissors? Oh man, I'm just cooking. I'm almost, I'm pretty well done. You know, when you're friggin' done, you're done. <clears throat> and I'm done. Where's my scissors? Oh man. Sometimes you gotta substitute. Yep, carving fusion, all right. Okay, so here's one new brush. Okay, on the spring. It's good to look inside the hole too and see if there's no uh, brush on the wheel thing, whatever you wanna say. That thing's not even spinning. Look inside. Oh, that's why. Yeah, that's spinning. Look inside this hole here and spin your flex shaft, like the head of it, and make sure that's spinning inside and take a look and make sure the silver thing or whatever it is, the stainless steel thing inside there is clean. So let's put this new brush in. Wow, it's like a sauna in here right now. Okay. You got your brush in. And where's the screw thing? Okay. Oh, it's a little bit different on the 4300. Put that in. Make sure it sits nice and flat on there to screw it back in. Okay, perfect. That's one side done. Let's check the other side. May as well. Okay, we have some left on it. Look how it wore, guys. Okay. That's all. So let's show you the new one compared to the worn one. Here's a new one. This is the worn one. So you guys, when your Dremels die, don't think um, they're dead. These brushes cost six bucks. You can order them on Amazon. 
I don't know, maybe seven bucks. I have an extra four packs at all time because uh, you know what they say, I'm heavy hands and when you're heavy hands, you go through stuff, double amount of speed. So, okay, we got the new piece in there. Put this on. Where's my goddamn screw thing? And spin her back on and I'm gonna plug it in quickly and we'll see if we have power. Three, two, one. Okay, well, whatever. I'll figure it out. Ah. So, here it is. Let's take it outside, put a, some uh, succulent flowers in and hang her up. Jeez. Oh, we might as well shine it up a bit with some spar spar varnish. Why not? So I'll get this done and then uh, I'll hang it. Wait till it dries, I'll hang it and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So Eddie, what do you think? How much did I get for this sucker? Ah. Look at that beautiful grain of wood, guys. Look at that ripple wood in here. I don't think I'll ever sell this piece because this is uh, juniper eastern red cedar. But we don't have this kind of wood here. And I lucked out to get uh, like a 15 foot log for 150 bucks. But look at that. Hold on. Look at that ripple in there. Okay, anyways. Outside we go. And Eddie. Eddie, 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 Eddie. At Secret Beach Trading Co. Company. Secret Beach Trading Company in California there. He makes succulent holders, okay? And he's starting to carve wood spirits. So, Eddie. What do you think, bud? Can you see it? See the little succulent in there? The goddamn succulents I had to plant? You think they'll live? I don't know. This guy only cost me uh, seven hours of my day because I was goddamn filming it. And the shit wood inside of it. This would normally only take me, I don't know, 25 minutes to carve. But then my Dremel broke. So I'm going to have to edit the video and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I don't know, Ed, how much you think I could sell something like that for? If you were going to sell it, leave a comment in the description. And anybody wants to learn how to make succulent holders, I'll leave uh, Eddie starting a YouTube channel. And I'll leave a link in the description below to see his new YouTube videos. So there you go. There's a goddamn succulent holder. Damn you, Eddie. Damn you. Damn you. And damn you too, putting flowers in my head.